guys, my name is Sierra. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. I am currently a first year nursing student and I am in my first term of nursing school. Today, you guys are going to join me for a week in my life as a nursing student. It is currently Sunday afternoon. It's raining here, it's cozy, and my family set up this really cool thing at our local movie theater. With all of the COVID restrictions, they are allowing people, I think families or people within the same household, to rent out a full movie theater. You can have up to 20 people and you can actually pick the movie. We are watching Christmas Vacation. It's just a family tradition. Everybody is dressing in Christmas sweaters or Christmas PJs. Some of you guys may be thinking that it is too early and it is still November. I am well aware of that. It has been such a whack year that I think we owe it to ourselves to do what makes us happy in the moment. So it should be fun. After that, I'm going to head home and hit the books really hard for studying. Finals are coming up and we are going to be very good productive students that start studying way ahead of time so we are not procrastinating or feeling rushed. I'm currently at the grocery store. I'm going to get some candy for myself and my family before the movie. I'm not the only one that does that, right? I can't be. It's just so much cheaper at the store. Let's go. Guys, we just went to the movie theater and watched the movie. It was a lot of fun. Look how <laughs> handsome I am. <laughs> <laughs> Monday morning around 7 a.m. I am on my way to work. I actually nanny for a family. I work about 30 hours a week right now because I'm only in one class for nursing school since I'm in my first term. Not really sure what's gonna happen next term and if I'm going to be able to work 30 hours a week because I've heard from second year nursing students and my brother that the spring and winter term, second and third term, are the hardest because we're taking farm, patho, and chronic all together. Not really sure what's gonna happen. We'll just take it day by day. Let's head to work. Hi, it's me again. There have been a slight change of plans. I got off work an hour early, trying to be as productive as possible, and there is specifically one thing that I have procrastinated this term in nursing school, and that is volunteer work. My program requires us to have a minimum of 10 hours of volunteer work every term. I have two hours. <sighs> Things have just been really tricky where I live with COVID restrictions. A lot of facilities aren't taking volunteers right now or a lot of places that are taking volunteers are requiring you to volunteer for a certain number of hours each week. We don't have a lot of time to do that even though obviously we wish that we could somebody told me they donated plasma to red cross that's what i will be doing i'm actually not donating plasma i'm donating platelets should be about three hours and then i will get three hours of volunteer work let's go give some platelets study and all that fun stuff you do on a monday night guys <laughs> Pizza. Do we have a problem? Probably. No. <laughs> Welcome to my room and my massive pile of clothes that I need to put away, but I am too lazy to. Anybody else? 
On another note, I would like to address the problem that my family and I have. Yes, we've been eating pizza once a week. I'm aware of that. It needs to come to a stop very soon. But I would truly have to blame my sister for this. She is the one at fault here every single time. She texted me asking me to pick up pizza. It sounded good. Of course it sounded good. So I picked it up. I had to oblige because I live with her. Really, I had no choice in the circumstance. <sighs> Okay, let's talk about today and how much of a Monday it really was. As you guys know, I went to Red Cross to donate plasma and platelets, specifically for community service hours with school. I wish I would have done something like this earlier. So I get there and I want to be so frustrated with the situation if it wasn't like 50 minutes away from where I live. And also because it's really my fault and I should have looked more into this. So I get to Red Cross, they have me fill out a bunch of questions and applications and then I go to a room and fill out some questions privately. How I respond to those questions results if I get a follow-up question from an employee that works there. I did. This was after I had been there for 30 minutes. I got my blood pressure. I got my finger pricked. I was ready to just sit back and donate and relax. One of the questions was asking if you've had a vaccine or immunization within the past three months and I said yes because I have. I had to get one for school. The employee followed up with that question and asked what it was and if it had been administered within the last 21 days it was because of the specific immunization that it was I couldn't donate anything they didn't want me there I couldn't donate plasma platelets or even whole blood until the 21 days have passed that was an absolute bust I just want to give a shout out to you Tara for the lack of immunizations as a child. I'm just kidding. It's not your fault. I love you mom <laughs> I know you're watching this. I love you. <laughs> so that's besides the point Clearly I should have looked more into that before I went there But I just wasn't thinking and that's just life. You got to roll with the punches. It all works out I'm sure I will be going back there soon regardless of it being for school. Do you want to donate moving on? It is Monday night. It's 9.24 right now. I have a clinical tomorrow. It's only a half day, so it's going to be short and sweet. I need to get some stuff prepared. I like to prepare my clinical bag the night before I might close and just have everything ready so I'm not feeling rushed in the morning. And then there's some reading that I need to do. We got assigned several pages of reading in our clinical skills textbook going over more components of our head to toe assessment and then more information regarding administration of medication. Everything works out. I actually got to talking with the mother that I nanny for. She's awesome. She is a physician and she owns her own clinic. I don't know why I didn't think of this, but I can volunteer with her. All right, let's study and not fold this laundry tonight because I'm not in the mood and go to bed. <laughs> I've just decided that I am too tired and I would rather wake up earlier in the morning and do some reading than do it right now. So that's what's gonna happen. Good night. I will see you guys in this large pile of laundry in the morning. <laughs> It is Tuesday morning around 6 in the morning. I am about to head out to meet up with some fellow students and we are going to carpool to clinical this morning. It should be a really good day. Let's go! Hi guys, it is Wednesday afternoon. I am so sorry that I left you guys hanging yesterday after clinical. Uh, well, things got a little hectic. During clinical yesterday, we actually got out early at 12.30. The reason being because earlier in the year, our clinical group got divided into two, splitting the amount of students going to each nursing home. One of the nursing homes got closed to students quicker than the one that I was going to. We were able to complete an extra clinical day. The other 
group wasn't. They stayed until six o'clock yesterday to make up that time. We had class from eight to 11.30. We went over just more skills, part of the head to toe assessment, more administration medications for different routes. It wasn't really that busy of a day. At 11.30, all of us that did not get 100% initially on our dosage calc exam had to retake it. We retook that and we don't have our grade yet, but I'm pretty sure I got 100% this time. Fingers crossed. And then after that, I got with my carpool group. We studied together going over the finals study guide that we have posted online. And we have finals in exactly three weeks. Yeah. I met up with some friends and got dinner and a drink because we are on a two week lockdown starting today. Yesterday was the last day that you could go and sit at a restaurant and eat. So we're on lockdown. We're not really sure how long it's going to go for. I came home and I just passed out. I was so tired. I am babysitting right now. I'm going to get caught up on some homework and assignments. And I also have to edit the video that we filmed for my clinical group for our community needs project. I'll show you guys some of the assignments that I'm working on for school in a minute. just kind of reading and doing some work for the past couple of hours practicing some study questions for the chapters that our reading assignments have been over for our final I'm just trying to get familiar with all of the reading assignments because it's so much reading it's hard to know what information you really need to retain that is actually going to be on the exam I'm sure you guys understand. I do have good news. We got our scores back for our second dosage calc exam. If you had watched my previous video, you would know that we get to retake it because you have to score 100% to pass the class. And there's 64 of us and only one person actually got 100%. That person is somebody that's retaking the class. Not anything against them or that. What I'm trying to say is I was kind of upset with myself for not getting 100% the first time. What I'm saying to you is that if you're going through the same thing too. Just know that you're not alone. My whole class and I are going through it together. Long story short, we got 100 and all is well. It's nice too because the exam is worth 100 points and everybody has to score 100. It really just boosts everybody's grade. I'm not complaining. I'm gonna keep studying some more practice problems. I wanted to read, but my textbook that I need specifically is in my car and it's like pouring rain outside. And I don't know what is going on. I've just been feeling like really lazy this week. I don't know. I know that's not good. Just keeping it real and being honest with you guys. I really don't want to go out into the rain right now. I'm just going to keep studying these practice problems I have on my computer and then watch some of the newest episode of The Bachelorette. You know, the really important stuff. I'll see you guys in the AM. <laughs> morning you guys it is Thursday morning I am headed to work to Manny let's go guys so I am just working on some homework right now basically there are less than three weeks left before finals we have our final for our lecture class and then we have a checkoff sheet for a clinical class to demonstrate specific skills that we have learned and can properly perform before the term is over and one of the big ones is our head-to-toe assessment we really haven't had too much practice with that because our last couple weeks for clinical were supposed to be at the skilled nursing facility where we were going to be practicing our head to toes on actual patients and residents at the facilities. Things have 
not necessarily gone according to plan with all things considered. I'm sure is happening to a lot of you guys. We're just taking it day by day. We have to perform this head to toe on I believe maybe a mannequin and our clinical instructor will grade us on it. A way for me to retain information is to continuously just write things down. What I'm doing right now is I'm watching head to toe assessment videos that are available on YouTube and I'm just taking notes of what these nursing students or nurses are actually doing and I'm watching a variety of different videos because everybody has their own way of doing it. Everybody has their own little different tips and tricks. I am going to continue to watch some of those videos for the next couple of hours while I'm watching Oliver here and then probably jump into reading for my lecture class tomorrow. As far as the head to toe assessment, that is for week 10. And I just realized we have all of this to get done for week nine. It will be next Tuesday. So it looks like we're checking off all of our medication administration. We get this sheet and our clinical instructor clearly grades us. I think when I get home, I'm going to print all of these off and make some notes. And then I have my clinical textbook right here. And this goes over all of the medication administration for all of the routes for the body. I will probably print those pages off, like I said, when I get home and then start making some notes. I didn't realize that is what we're gonna be doing next week. So I need to get on top of that. So it is obviously later in the day. It's the evening now. I got done with babysitting, came home, showered. My sister made a lovely, lovely dinner. Just so delicious. It's pretty good. <laughs> now I am working on some flashcards. Like I said earlier, I realized that in clinical next week, we are going to be doing our skills check off. I can't do it here. I don't have any hair. Exactly. <laughs> You're so mean. We will be doing our skills check off for all of our medication administration. There's quite a few of them and I kind of feel a little overwhelmed because there's a lot of other stuff I need to do too. So I'm just going to show you what I've been doing. So I made the flashcards and it's administering oral medication and how many are those? There's like seven of them going over kind of the procedures and things to remember and it helps me to just write things down to then remember it. If I repeatedly write stuff over and over again, I just retain the information better. Moving on to administering topical medication now, but we have several more here. This is just honestly kind of time consuming. Administering medication through a feeding tube. Administering rectal suppositories. Fun. Administering vaginal installations. Administering nasal installations. Administering ear medication. And administering ophthalmic medication. So I'm hoping to get all those done tonight. And then tomorrow morning we have a lecture class. And then it is actually, let's bring you guys closer here. It's my sister's birthday. It's his mom's, mom's birthday. birthday yeah. So we're gonna wake up early and do some stuff. Well, you'll just see in the morning. Probably just gonna continue doing some schoolwork and drinking fruit punch. Hi. How are you doing? You guys in the morning. Yeah. Good morning. I always use my shelf. Myself. It is my sister and his mom's birthday today. Actually, as a family, we will not be celebrating it until next weekend when we are all able to get together. Is making waffles. Finish setting some stuff up for her. I have lecture class at nine o'clock, so in about two hours. Mama, your birthday's mama. <laughs> Mommy's birthday. Happy birthday, mama. It 
it's time to go to school. And my pajamas on my couch. I don't see a problem with it. Do you? Hopefully not. It's around four in the afternoon. I just finished with my lecture class. We got told some interesting information. As far as next week goes for clinical, we will be performing our full head to toe assessment on a mannequin. It means my weekend is going to be pretty consumed with studying the head to toe assessment skills and information over and over. I think we are supposed to be able to do it within like a 10 minute span. I don't know how that's gonna happen. We'll see. Fun stuff on a Friday night. sister here. Cheers. And instead of getting pizza for her birthday, we got salads from our favorite place. Happy birthday. Thank you. Stupid. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still recording. <laughs> Honestly, she's like, that's okay. It's her birthday. officially ending the vlog here. Thank you for spending a week with me in my life as a nursing student. We hope you guys have a great rest of your morning, yeah. afternoon, and night. Night night. See you later. Thank you guys for watching. It means the world. I will see you guys very soon. Bye. Bye. See you next time. I love you.